Excel Master Series. Today we're going to show you how to become a fully functional statistician in your workplace and be able to do it all in Excel. We'll take a look at the four manuals of the Excel Statistical Master Series. Here's the fourth manual, the Graphic Manual. This manual will show you how to make interactive graphs of all of these most popular distributions in Excel. And each of the lessons in this manual is in streaming video. So for example, let's take a look at one of the videos. If we want to learn how to graph the normal distribution, just click on it. We'll go in there and go into the video. Each video is about five minutes long, and each video starts showing the interactivity. This is what you'll be able to create. We vary the parameters of that distribution and show the Excel graph, the interactivity reflected in the graph. And I walk you through step by step showing how to create that graph. You'll be able to do this the very first time that you watch this video. And I go through and show close ups of what's in each cell. You'll be able to follow this and make those graphs the very first time. Step by step, loaded with screenshots and I show you lots of different techniques to make your graphs look more professional like right here I'm showing you how to make the x-axis in increments of whole numbers so that your graph is a little bit more readable and I also show you lots of mistakes that people make when they're making their graphs in Excel as well you'll become a fully functional statistician and you'll be able to do it all in Excel I walk you through step by step and everything is explained slowly and in simple language the information is presented in bite-sized chunks. Each one of these graphing videos is five minutes long. For example, here's the chi-square distribution. It's an interesting distribution. It resembles a rolling wave as you vary the one parameter, its degrees of freedom. And the chi-square distribution is a complicated distribution. But I'll show you exactly how to graph that in Excel. Same with the T distribution. We have the three different parameters we're varying. And here I'm demonstrating how to verify the inputs. A very important process that you have to do for all of your graphs. And I'll show you how to do that. Here's the binomial distribution. It's a pretty fun distribution to graph. And we're varying the two parameters of the binomial distribution, the number of trials and probability of success in each trial, and watching that interactivity reflected in the graph. And each distribution, we go through problems. Right now, we're looking at the Poisson distribution. And we'll go through a problem step by step how to work out that problem. And I'll show you close ups. What are the Excel formulas that go into it to solve that problem? And we also verify the answer. We create a graph, and, and we click on the appropriate point in that graph and make sure that that verifies what we've calculated with the formulas. We do that for every one of our distributions here. Here's the Weibull distribution. I've walked through it step by step. There are no guessing about which theories to apply. There's no wasting time with academic theory, just an emphasis on problem solving. You'll be a fully functional statistician at your workplace be able to master MBA level statistics 10 times faster than if you did it in a course or if you went out and bought a thick statistics textbook. Everything's explained in simple language. The emphasis is on step-by-step -step frameworks. And here's manual three. It covers regression using dummy variables, chi-squared independence tests, the variance of population test, and ANOVA. Let's take a look at the regression section. And as we mentioned, everything is presented in step-by-step -step frameworks. All regressions are solved with a four-step process. And I walk you through it slowly and carefully with screenshots. You'll fully understand how to do it and how to interpret it. And everything's explained in simple language. And I'll show you how to set it up. No guessing about which theories to apply. And we cover problem after problem. And all of the outputs of each of the problems are color-coded so you can see exactly what, you're, what you just calculated. It'll be very easy to interpret the outputs, what's important, what's not. And I go through an interpretation of the outputs slowly and carefully. And I, I don't use complicated statistical language. Everything's explained as simply as I can. And this manual is created for business managers. And here's regression using dummy variables. And we're going to use an advanced marketing technique called conjoint analysis, and this we use dummy variables. There's a seven-step process that we go through. It's really not that hard once you see how to do it, how to set it all up in Excel and do it. And I'll walk you through that slowly and carefully, and you'll be a master of this. You will be a fully functional statistician at your workplace. Here's the output. Everything's color-coded, and I'll walk you through that and show you what it means to use dummy variables. Step-by-step -step framework. Everything's presented in bite-sized chunks. Here's the ANOVA analysis. Excel has very exceptional ANOVA capabilities, and I'll show you all the different ANOVA functions they have and how to set problems up for each one of those. And the outputs are color-coded to show you what's important in that output. And I'll go through the output and explain exactly why the 
outcome was what it was. And once again, the outputs are color coded. And I'll show you how to set up the ANOVA for each one of these different types of ANOVA that Excel has that you can use. The emphasis is on step by step frameworks, no guessing. And here I walk you through a hand calculation of, of one of the ANOVA, and I'll show you that it's a whole lot easier to do it in Excel than do it in hand calculation. Here's the chi squared independence test. We're walking through showing how to set that up in Excel. It's not very complicated once you see how to do it. And each worked out problem is shown with lots and lots of screenshots and a detailed explanation, but simple, of what we just calculated and a graph at the end to show you what you've done. And here's the five step chi squared variance change test. A couple problems in this chapter, each one of them uses the five step process. We walk you through that and there's a graph at the end of each problem. And everything's explained simple, simply step by step, no guessing about which theory to apply. You only need a basic knowledge of Excel to be able to make it through this manual. Here's manual two. In manual two we cover confidence intervals, hypothesis tests, and the built-in hypothesis tests. And here we're going to confidence intervals. Lots of graphs to explain it. And here's here are all the different formulas that you'll be using. And once again, problem after problem after problem. We present the confidence interval in many different ways, showing lots of different problems, walking you through step by step in Excel how to do it. And hypothesis testing. Here we have a four step process that you can use to solve every type of hypothesis test there is. I haven't seen this four step process anywhere else. But it works, and we walk through problem after problem after problem, all of the different kind of hypothesis tests. There are two main kinds of hypothesis tests, tests for means and tests for proportions. They both use that same four-step process, but they use different formulas. And we walk you through that just problem after problem after problem with the graphs to, to show you exactly what you've created and an explanation of it. There's 400 plus pages of MBA level statistics. And the hypothesis test is extremely useful. And here are some of the built-in quick and easy hypothesis tests, and I'll show you how to set the problems up for that. You probably use hypothesis tests more than any other type of statistics. Very, very, very useful at the workplace. As an internet marketing manager, I use hypothesis tests a lot. And I color-coded all of the outputs and give you a pretty good explanation of what is each output. Step-by-step, step, simple language, you know exactly what you're looking at. Here's the first manual. It covers histograms, combinations, permutations, correlations, covariance, the normal distribution, t-distribution, and the binomial distribution. Here we're going to make a chart out of that data. And I walk you through step-by-step, step, lots of screenshots. There's the chart that we will make from that data. We're making a histogram from this data, once again, walking you through it, showing all the screenshots. There's the final histogram that you'll be able to make. You'll be able to do all of this stuff. You can have Excel opened up in a separate window, and you'll be able to do all this. Here are the combinations of permutations. This will save you a lot of time, because there, there's a lot of manual calculation that goes into combinations of permutations. And we walk through problem after problem after problem, all different ways of looking at combinations of permutations. You'll be an expert on it, and you'll be able to do it in Excel. It's really the fastest way to climb the statistical learning curve. You'll become a fully functional statistician at your workplace, and you'll be able to do it all in Excel. 400 pages of MBA-level statistics. Correlation and covariance, once again, walking through screenshots. Here we're doing correlation between multiple variables and taking a look at the correlation and now the matrix. And covariance, I give you a, a pretty thorough explanation of what is the difference between correlation and covariance. You really only need a basic knowledge of Excel to quickly make it through these manuals. And here's the normal distribution, very, very rich chapter. I try to cover as many different aspects of the normal distribution as I can, and we go through all of the formulas, and once again, loaded with problems, problem after problem after problem, with the graphs. You'll see exactly what you've put together and how to interpret that output with a graph. And you'll be able to make those graphs, too. We show you how to make the graphs in the fourth manual. Here is the t-distribution. Same thing, problem after problem all the different formulas in the t-distribution. You'll be able to do this yourself. The emphasis is on step-by-step -step frameworks. Everything's presented in bite-sized chunks. Lots of worked out problems. Screenshots, step-by-step. -step. And the binomial distribution. Here's manual one, we just took a look at that. Manual two, confidence intervals, hypothesis test, the built-in hypothesis test. Manual three, regression using dummy variables, the chi-squared independence test. Here's the graphic manual. So if you want to become a fully functional statistician at your workplace and do it all in Excel, here's the manual for you.